PIP dynamic extension with OrphiTube. Here we will demonstrate a PIP dynamic extension orthosis with OrphiCast and OrphiTubes. Use a strip of OrphiCast which is 6 cm wide and 4 times the width of the hand. Fold the OrphiCast in half widthwise. Make a hole for the thumb at two-thirds of the length and place the thumb through the hole. Pinch the OrphiCast together on the palmer side of the hand. Carefully mould the palmer arches. Cut the orthosis across the palmer side and round the edges. Cut a slit opening on the palmer side of the orthosis, which will allow a Velcro strap to pass through. Enlarge the hole for the thumb, liberating as much of the thenar eminence as possible. Heat the edges of the thumb opening and fold outwards and smoothen. Attach the self-adhesive Velcro hook by heating the orthosis on the dorsal surface and the glue side of the Velcro hook with the heat gun and press firmly together. Attach the Velcro loop by heating the orthosis on the inner portion of the opposite side and press the fuzzy side of the Velcro loop into the thermoplastic material. Secure the bond of the Velcro loop with the orthosis by applying a piece of dry heated OrphiCast on the edges of the Velcro loop. Round the corners of the Velcro loop and seal with a small piece of dry heated OrphiCast so the strap doesn't slip back through the slit opening. We can now begin fabrication of the dynamic portion of the orthosis. Take an Orphi tube and slide the guide inside. Always bend the Orphi tube with the guide so that the hole is maintained. Angle the Orphi tube using strong pliers. Remove the guide and cut away the excess material. Deburr the sharp cut edge of the Orphi tube. Attach an Orphi tube end cap to avoid friction between the elastic thread and the Orphi tube. Calculate the length of the tube. The length should measure from the proximal part of the orthosis to the dorsal DIP joint crease. Bend an extra angle in the Orphi tube above the MCP joint head using the guide and the strong pliers. Cut away the excess length of the tube after removing the guide. Remove the orthosis from the hand. Attach the Orphi tube to the orthosis with a small band of dry heated OrphiCast. Wrap the OrphiCast around the Orphi tube and cut any excess material. Heat the OrphiCast with the heat gun and adhere the Orphi tube onto the orthosis. The Orphi tube is attached and aligned with the injured finger and the bent end is angled over the DIP joint crease. Thread the Orphi tube with elastic thread. Make a noose at one end of the elastic thread and secure it by heating some OrphiCast and wrapping it around the noose. Take a small band of OrphiCast, heat it and fold it double lengthwise. Wrap the OrphiCast around the DIP joint and cut the excess material. 
take the curved scissors and slide them underneath the finger cap while it hardens to ease donning and doffing of the finger cap. Heat the noose wrapped in Orphicast, briefly heat the finger cap as well and stick both parts together, making sure that the noose is positioned in the middle of the finger cap over the DIP joint. Pass the elastic thread through the Orphi tube. Calculate the force by means of a dynamometer. Pin the end of the elastic thread to the dynamometer. Pull on the thread with the dynamometer until the desired force is reached. Mark the exit point on the thread with a marker. Apply tension to the elastic thread and make a knot. Heat a piece of Orphicast with the heat gun and roll this over the knot to secure the knot. The orthosis can be tried on. The finger is clearly pulled in extension. However, a hyperextension of the MCP joint must be avoided. To do this, we have to create an MCP stop. Take a piece of Orphicast and heat it. While the patient wears his or her orthosis, fold the Orphicast over the Orphi tube at the height of the first phalanx. Put the finger in the desired position, excluding any hyperextension. Press the Orphicast together and mold the stop over the finger. Wait until the stop has hardened. Take the orthosis off. Round the edges on both sides of the MCP stop. The orthosis can then be tried on again.